Hi, it's Anna. Just wanted to say hi. Look how badly sunburned I got today at my daughter's softball game. Um, that's not why I came on here, though. <laughs> I came on to show some jewelry that I got at the thrift store today. Um, I'm going to start off with some earrings. I found silver, uh, amber, satin silver, lever back earrings. Let me get those off first. I'll show you those. Um, Let's talk a little bit. Oh, here we go. So I can see what I'm doing. They're pretty. They're marked in the back, 925, and they have initials. I can't remember what the initials are right now. I did look, though, and I tested them. And they're pretty. If anybody sees anything they like that I'm showing, email me at sistersvintage2 at yahoo.com. And, um... I'd be happy to sell you anything that, as long as I'm selling it, that you see that you like. I'm not going to say any prices or anything when you email me. I'll give you prices. Um, or you can check out my Mercari page where I have excellent ratings. Um, I've been selling on there since July of last year, and I have a five-star rating. I have over 300 sales. And uh, you can go check out my ratings before you buy from me if you'd like. But these are beautiful. These are amber, and they are silver, sterling silver. Nice. I found some earrings that look like unmarked Sabika, but we can't say they are because I don't know if they are because somebody can make these and not, they could not be Sabika possibly. There's two different colors. The first ones, um, there's darker blue and lighter blue on the bottom. They have a lever back as well. They look just like Sabika, but they're not marked. Um, I, I can't say they are Sabika unmarked because I have no idea. But they're very nice. As you can see, there's two of them. They're about an inch, this up and down. They're pretty. And then there are lighter blue ones right here. Let me see. The stone up top's a little different of a color, but they look pretty close. They're pretty. They're the same measurements. They're also lever back. They're pretty. I think they're pretty earrings. I found a pair of earrings that look like Kirk's Folly, but I don't see a marking on them, so I don't believe they are. But these are enamel trimmed around. These are about three quarters of an inch. They're enamel around. They have a green uh, st rhinestone in the middle and AB rhinestone surrounding that. And these are Paris stearings, as you can see. They're cute. I don't see any markings of Kurt's Folly. If I find it and anybody asks about these, I will give them the information, honest information. Very nice, I think. Found these little sun earrings. I believe these are pewter. They're so cute. They're about an inch up and down. They hang on a wire. There's the back. There's, see, it's a wire. The back of it. And the front. Cute pair of earrings. They're a little heavy. Not extremely heavy. Um, I test them for silver, and, and I don't believe they are. I retest them. Um, I think they're pewter. They're cute, though. Then I found this, um, move on to the pins. Found this happy sun brooch. It's about two inches. Here's the back. This is an AJC. He's cute. Um, I thought this was cute too. It is a 1988 on. I can't make out the rest of it, but it says 1988. There's a crocodile on there. A palm tree and a um, like a Mexican or some type of like sandstone building there. It's really cute. This is a big brooch. This is like three inches going across at least and like an inch, an inch and a half up and down from the palm, palm tree. About an inch and a half. It's cute. Here's the back of it. It's a cute brooch. It's different. This one is sterling. It's the marked 925 and I believe that's a brass piece hanging off her. It's a cuckoo clock. It's about an inch and it's real dirty back there. It needs cleaned, but it's cute. And what else? I found this, uh, this is cute. 
little birch with a little bird. It's about an inch, an inch, about an inch, an inch and a quarter. It's cute. Um, it has some type of marking on it. Let me see. It's a birds and where's, oh, they're on my head. I was looking for my glasses. I do that often. Um, birds and brooms, 1997 limited edition. That's what this is. It's a cute little bird brooch. For bird lovers out there. These are two sewing machines. Like in 1902. Replicas obviously. Like brooches made to look like those. 1910. This one is 19. Let me look and tell you. It is 19. German 1902. Clot tilled. Yeah. It's, it's like made to look like a sewing machine. It's cute. There's the back. I think it's cute. Different. I have another one too that was from 1902. It said on it. Um, I'll show it to you. 19. That one was 1902. This one's 1910. Another made the sewing machine brooch. Can you see that? Yeah, sure you can. All right, and then I found this cool bracelet. Now, I am a six. We'll say a six and a half to be safe because I'm gaining weight, like, record timing here. But see, I have some room. So, I'd say a seven would fit this comfortably. You don't want it to be tight. Looks like a belt. It's very nice, actually. Look at it. Um, I think it's nice. A different looking bangle. It's no fading whatsoever. It's very uh, shiny, you know. It's gold tone. It's obviously it's not gold. Um, <laughs> but it's nice. Doesn't have any fading on it. I found this brooch set. Brooch and earring set right here. It's the brooch. I think it's hematite. I have to make sure, check it out and make sure. But it's silver tone. I don't believe that is silver. Didn't test as it. And there's the back. This is a brooch. This is about two inches up and down. It's cool. I think it's nice, the design of it. And then there are a pair. Of, these are Paris earrings that go with it. These are about an inch and a half. It's a nice set. There's the back. They, um, I already showed that bit here. There's comparison of the earrings and the brooch is a little bigger. Got like a half of an inch on it. But that. And I found another huh, a dress clip. Sweater clip. These ones have butterflies on them. They're, it's cute. This one's butterflies. That's a good picture. It's nice. This one's a little longer too. The one I showed in my sale video today that I did was five. This one's probably like six inches in between the chain and i think they're pretty this is a root this is pretty this is on a suede type of and this is rose quartz heart 925 on the met this is 925 the clasp and um oh so uncomfortable all right i'm really burnt this is rose quartz and it's this is a, a suede cord the rose is like two inches i think it's really pretty there it is laying down um, on a black cord. My cat's back here. You can probably hear it. All right, there's that. And I found another, I was calling this Holland, but I believe these are Russian brooches. Um, one of the subscribers, her name's Michelle, had sent me a picture a while ago. She was finding these. And this is hand-painted and I don't know what type of material that is. Um, I have to check it out. But it has a safety pin actually in it. And it's built around the safety pin. It's pretty cool. It's very light. It may be celluloid. I don't I don't know. But I have um, found another pair of AB earrings. I have several pairs of these now. Clips. Um, this is a K brooch. This is nice, actually. It has a K on it. It was in a bag with one that I purchased. That's why I got it. But, um, found a nice 1928, um, necklace. I feel like my, um, let me move that. It's heavy. 
here. This is 1928 necklace. I'm showing it backwards. <laughs> Look how pretty. Um, it's very pretty. I think their necklaces are pretty nice. It has a silver tone chain to it, and it's a dangly multicolored. It's pink and white AB stones on it. And that measures about three inches, two and a half to three inches. It's pretty on a silver tone chain. Let's see if I missed anything, I'm sure I did. I found a little heart brooch. It's gold tone. I found a couple of beautiful Japan necklaces. I'm fond of Japan jewelry. I think it's beautiful. This is um most likely it's marked Japan. Um I think it's pre war. But um there you go. You have plastic and glass mixed, which is weird. Metal, kind of weird. <laughs> These here are metal or glass stones. These are like plastic and they're like crusted with some type of decoration. And I don't know if these are paper or some type of like fabric, but they're it's beautiful. I think. Look at it. It's triple strand, handmade, Japan vintage. Japan jewelry, which I find to be beautiful. There's the clasp. It says Japan on that side. It has like, this is when I see this, it's usually Japan. <laughs> it, I mean, I've never found anything um, higher end. I, I mean, Japan, I think it's nice. But anyway, so there's that. I, I get carried away with it. I think I found lapis too. Now, I could be wrong and I have to test it. I have to figure out how to test it. I won't say it's that. If it's not, I'm very, I am meticulous on that. These are glass. This is another Japan. These are glass faux pearls. It's triple strand. Has a pretty little ends look like, they look like tulips. And they have rhinestones in them. And it has the same Japan Hulk triple strand there. Beautiful glass necklace. I think it's beautiful. I found this one too, which I think is really nice. Now it looks like a premier design, but it's unmarked. It reminds me of that. Let's see the big, the pretty flower. It's like two inches in encrusted rhinestones. And um, it has faux pearls. And this goes over to the side. You know, it's one of those necklaces where um, the flowers on the side. It's a toggle clasp. Has a brass look finish, but I don't believe this is brass. I believe it's just a brass look. But I think it's pretty nice. Nice necklace. Then I found this. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know if this is lapis. I will not try to sell this to anybody until I do know what it is. I don't do that kind of thing. If I'm not sure, then I don't sell it. But it's beautiful, and it feels like stone. It's very cool. Cooler than what glass is. Um, you know, there's a difference and I, this is a silver clasp on here, but I, I, and it has little separators. I don't know. I wouldn't try to sell it until I knew for sure, but it's very, it's nice. I like it. And this is a plastic and glass and it has some little art glass stones on it, you know, painted like that one's ceramic. This looks, there appears to be some quartz and some stones that I don't, there's another ceramic painted that I don't know what they are. There's some of them, they look not, there's plastic. This is crystal. This, that's plastic. I thought it was nice. It's just a little, I may give it to my daughter. She's 11. I mean, it's a nice necklace. Has an, I think, fairly nice. She'll like it. Has a clasp, one of those cool clasps. But that's it. There could be, oh, and there's a bag of earrings that, these were mixed in with the, the things that I wanted. But other, I mean, there's still earrings. These ones aren't too bad. They have a lever back and silver tone. But these are ones that I, I will put into a lot that I'll sell. Um, and they're, they're all wearable, not damaged at all. And, um, they're okay. But, these ones, these are plastic though, actually. Those stones are plastic. They were mixed in with the earrings that I wanted. I did find a pair of uh, little, which I don't see them here. I got a mess. 
little tiny oh these little things are kind of cute they're they're very they're plastic though and they're screw backs but I'm not convinced that they're very old to be honest I don't get to feel that off of them I could be wrong though I'm not a fool an expert on anything but these here are napier vintage napier they're screw backs they're nice and I found these silver tone earrings that are pretty cool. I think the way they're constructed, you see the pieces are put together there. Um, and they're hoops, silver tone hoops. I think these are like just steel or something. Um, I don't believe they're, they're silver. And this is a little glass lever back yellow stoned earring. It's actually glass. And that's it, I think. That's all. I mean, there's a couple other things laying around, but that's all I'm going to show. Um, if you made it this far, thank you. Um, like I said, if you want to buy anything, let me know. I'll be putting it up on Mercari, majority of it that I don't keep. I'm, I'm behind at backlogging on Mercari. I'm going to get back onto it. And I think I'm going to sign up for Etsy. I've been considering which one I want to go for. I may go to Etsy and do a lot of the vintage on there. But that is all. Um... For now, I'm just on Mercari. And like I said, go check my page. I have a lot of good jewelry and I have excellent ratings. All right, I hope you have a good night. Thank you.